Hey everybody, great to be back with you here. Let's talk about digital badges and the most important question is, what are these things, right? Well, let me give you an explanation. At first, I thought the concept of digital badging was rather simple. Look, militaries have been issuing badges for thousands of years. How much different can digital badges be? Well, they are a bit different. Not so much in why we award them, that's pretty much the same. But the process of awarding them and accepting them, that's changed. The old way, with these analog badges I'm going to call them, well, it went something like this. An individual, such as a student, teacher, parent, officer, whatever, accomplishes a goal, meets a requirement, wins a race, etc. Badge is handed to the individual to keep or to sew on their jacket or shirt, hang on the wall, whatever. It's so easy. But it's not really easy to display or share that badge, now is it? So let's talk about the new way. An individual, student, teacher, parent, accomplishes a goal, meets a requirement, wins a race, etc. The teacher, mentor, supervisor grants the badge to an individual via email or a claim code. Got that? Here's where it gets a little bit trickier, and I'm going to say it real fast. Individual accepts badge after they create a Persona account, then they put it in their Mozilla Open Backpack after they create an Open Badges Backpack account, then the individual displays the badge after they have then set up a group of some sort on their open, Mozilla Open Badges Backpack, and then they have a widget, and then they go to WordPress.com and they show it all there. I know I said that really fast. Probably because it doesn't make much sense for me to tell you how to do it now. We're going to step through that step by step by step as we continue with the course. About eight more lessons to go, and it's all going to make sense. Right? Hope you have faith. Talk to you soon. Oh, I was going to cut it there. That's good. <laughs>